Hello, Scorpio. It's my lady for um, my lady's ways here. And I'm coming to... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we got these two. So somebody feels like if you have this baby, I'm just saying it like I'm doing a reading this general, um, it's taking them to another, a, a, a different, a negative place. Somebody don't want to have a baby. They feel like it's going to ruin their life. Okay. All right. Um, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 8, 28, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in um, the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, there are some secrets coming out about somebody using somebody for money. So... Um, if you were using somebody, somebody about to tell on you, or if somebody using you, they about to, yeah, somebody about to get towed on, okay? All right, so let's get this show in a row. What's going on with the cap? Uh, whoo, so you might be dealing with a Capricorn here, uh, Scorpio. What's going on with the Scorpio? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so maybe somebody got a Scorpio that they can't let go of or that won't let go of them. Mm, okay, all right, so what's going on with the Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio? What's going on with the Scorpio love reading? 8, 28 through 9, 4, 2017. Mm, I don't know why. My whole body just start hurt, hurting. So I feel like somebody is like really deeply depressed right now. Okay. All right. So we're dealing, dealing with an arrogant, an arrogant masculine fem, um, figure. Arrogant, masculine, okay? Alright, so it's like either you as the arrogant masculine figure are try, starting to, whoever the masculine p figure is, they're trying to realize, I mean, they're starting to actualize what's really going on, you know? Mm, I just heard being used, so maybe the masculine figure is being used. Somebody's being used for sex, okay? That's what's going on here. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so whew, somebody is being used for sex and now the other person feels overwhelmed. So the person who's not the person who is using the other person for sex. So we're going to say the person, we're going to say the Capricorn cuz that's what showed up. So the Capricorn is using you for sex and they're starting to get emotionally drained by your wanting to be with them okay hopefully that's straightforward all right so the secrets coming out okay so so some uh, either the secret already came out about this person's feeling towards you or secret is getting ready to come out of yours and it's it's like no, the secret came out and it's making you feel messed up. So I think you found out that this person was using you for sex. And now you, you can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't, you know, you just can't function. Mm. All right, yeah, so you're starting to look at things for what they are. They were, they were using you, okay? And for some of you, you might even be pregnant. Yep, sex, just using it for sex. Okay. All right, what's going on? What's going on? Or vice versa, general readings. What's going on for the Scorpio, 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 Scorpio? What's going on for the Scorpio? You guys might be dealing with the Aries as well. What's going on with the Scorpio for the love reading? 8, 28 through 9, 4, 2017. 828 through 94 2017 love reading. False offers. Somebody's selling wolf tickets. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Okay, so it seems like you really thought this situation was going to work. Even though this person wasn't communicating to you that they wanted this type of relationship, you still thought that you can win this person over and you end up getting your heart broke because it's like, you know, I never told you that it was going to be that kind of thing. Okay, and that go to Nine of Swords. It's like, whew. I mean, you felt it at first, and then now that it actually went down, or when it actually goes down, it's going to send you deeper into that hole of uh, depression and um, emotional denial and, and stuff like that. All right, so let's go to the page of staffs. Staff, staff, staffs. All right. I think I found it. So it says, a good person, but sometimes egotistic. Um, someone may bring you important news. Listen to it. It's a truthful person. So somebody's going to bring you something that's going to hurt your feelings. Somebody's getting ready to tell you what's going on behind your back. All right. So now we have the three of. Three of Swords, and it says, A broken heart, whether in a relationship or in life, the ending of an affair, a bitter heartbreak, take care of emotional problems. So it's like, yeah, this person really tore you to pieces, and you're going to have to, whew, you're going to have to do some real good digging to um, get it over with. I mean, yeah, to, to fix yourself, because, I mean, we're going to go back to this. I don't think I really talked about this, but it's like people was telling you over and over, like, hey, something ain't right, something's not right, something that's right. And it was inside of you, too, like something is right, but, you know, you felt like you could change this person, which ultimately ended you up in heartbreak. Okay? All right, so now we have the Eight of Cups reverse. Uh elaborate celebration proclaimed happiness and gatherings new possibilities can be created when you look in alternate directions so right now you're trying to act happy and act like everything okay but then when you go home and get alone you start crying you know you can't you know eat you can't sleep you know and it's just like i don't know you it's basically sorry saying stop acting like everything all right and move on okay so we got the nine of swords Sort, sort, sort. Where are those sorts? Nine, nine, nine. All right, so the nine source says, dreams, nightmares, difficulty sleeping are present. Very stressful time is indicated. Yeah, so, you know, you, you stressed out about this whole situation, but the only thing uh, you can do is get up and move on. But that's all I have for you. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribe, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. And email me if you want one. Other than that, have a great week.